I can see myself on the monitor. This is so weird. I have, I don't think I've done an HD video like this before. And I kind of feel like this is really evasive. I saw what this video looks like and I'm like, oh my God, could you just like back up for a minute? Whoa. Yeah, this is what we got. This is what I'm working with now. Uh, my diet has been shit. I know, I appreciate on the last video you guys were talking about how you guys followed my weight loss vlogs. Well, guess what? Guess who gained it all back? <laughs> Me. So I'm gonna have to go this whole process all over again. I'm gonna try to do that whole New Year's, whatever. Anyway, let's continue on. So you got invited to a pajama party. Now, to me, honestly, when I think pajamas, I don't, the last thing I think of is makeup. So what I'm gonna do today is gonna be very fresh. It's gonna be very clean looking. It's gonna be a nice little breath of fresh air for a lot of you. And for some of you, it's gonna be a complete letdown. Sorry. So I've had my moisturizer soaking into my skin. It's the Declayer Hydroflora, which I like. It hasn't wowed me, but it works fine. Now I'm gonna use the Rodile Insta Glam Airbrush Primer. I hate the name, I really do. But I will say that this primer does work very well. And I like to just throw this stuff on, probably like where there's more texture in my face. So like my nose, my T-zone, right here and right here. I don't really stick primer on everywhere because really what the main focus of the face is just dead center. So for a clean makeup look, I do like to put on a little bit of foundation on before I do my eyes because I feel like it tricks my eyes into seeing things a bit cleaner, you know? I, I make better decisions according to what my face looks like and when I have all of these red patches and acne and things like that covered up, it just helps me see the overall look and kind of envision, envision what I wanna do. So I'm using the YSL Touche Clat Foundation and right now it's currently one of my top fives for sure. So for an eye primer, I'm using the NYX eyeshadow base in SB03, also known as Skin Tone. <laughs> my Skin Tone. <laughs> 2017 is the year of Cosette for me. I tried this new brand out and I cannot believe the payoff and how these eyeshadows last all day and just I can just go on and on forever. I freaking love them. The color I'm using right now is called Pagan. If you've never heard of Cosette, before, I strongly recommend you grab a few colors and I promise you, you won't be disappointed. The only thing I've done is applied Pagan to the tear duct area of my eyes, as well as my entire brow bone using just a basic brush. Honestly, you guys, this is a Coastal Sense brush. My personal collection is never top notch. My kit is and whatever I get for myself is just the kit rejects. That's what happens when you're a makeup artist. You don't typically buy the fancy things for yourself because you're like, oh, I could put this in my kit instead. So yes, I have Coastal Sense brushes. I do have some nice brushes too, but a lot of it is the cheap stuff. And obviously it works just fine. So again, the goal of this makeup look is to look fresh and clean, almost like you're ready for bed, but you know, you're obviously at a party. And I don't wanna throw on any dark shades. So I'm just using this color called Whisper. Again, it's by Cosette. Cause this will give me a little bit of shadow and a little bit of color without going completely overboard. And I'm using the Morphe M503 brush to apply this to the lid and the outer corner of my eye. And that's it, easy as pie. So I'm gonna use a good brush this time. This is the Smith 256 brush and I'm gonna use a color called Relax, again, Cosette. Relax is gonna go right onto the eyelid just so I have some sort of powder there. That way the NYX eyeshadow base doesn't start creasing on its own. We're gonna set everything. So we are moving on. Moving on, moving on, as if nothing really mattered. Oh my God, have you guys seen that Facebook video that's going around, the, the guy with the guns and, okay, no. It's so hard to talk to you guys. This is not Periscope. <laughs> I can't have a conversation with anyone here on YouTube. It's just really hard. Basically, they do the Bohemian Rhapsody, but they speak it and it's like a skit where this guy, he like shoots out some cops. Look for it, it's amazing and it's really funny. So next I'm using the Smith 302 brush and a color called Soul. It's S-O-U-L-E. Soul is hopefully the right way to pronounce it. And I'm going to just give myself a little bit of shadow here because if I don't, I end up looking tired for whatever reason. It's come to that point, you guys. 
oh god i'm in my 30s and now it just feels like if i don't do specific things my eyes look small and i used to always think that women were crazy <laughs> when they would come into the mat counter and they were like i need to put black inside all the way in otherwise i have no eyes and i'm like girl you're just making your eyes look smaller uh yeah i get it i get the need to have a little bit of a darker shade i still haven't gotten to the point where i'm using black on my eyes in the, in the waterline but I, I i understand now i understand you need to understand too it's a thing so if you watch me on Periscope, you will know I like to hop around with my makeup. So I have my basic eyeshadow colors down and now I'm gonna go back into my foundation and start cleaning up my face and giving myself the look I really wanna go for. So I'm going to apply more Touche Eclat. I really do love how this foundation looks. It just, I love the glowy aspect of this foundation. And that, to be honest, I like the coverage too. It's not full coverage, but you don't need full coverage for your life unless you have something like a port wine stain or a vitiligo or something where you absolutely need a shit ton of makeup on your face. I feel like a lot of times I'm getting ranty, but I just need to say a lot of times I just see girls walking around with way too much makeup on their face. Like a lot to the point where I'm just not trying to be salty. It's to the point where it's like, you guys are wasting your money. <laughs> you're really, you're wasting a lot of product. Cause like you're using half the bottle for one <laughs> swipe. I can't. Ah, uh, so it kind of kills me when I see these heavy, harsh looks and I'm like, you guys look so much older. Do you, has anyone else, anyone else noticing that, that young 20 year old girls are looking like they're 30 because they have a layer of a, ma I don't know. To be honest, I'm an advocate for makeup accentuating your beauty, not trying to hide it by covering yourself with a mask. Okay, I promise I'm done with the rant. Okay, this is where it gets tricky because I love these products equally. This is the Marc Jacobs Remedy Highlighting Pen. I honestly forgot what it's called. It's just called Remedy. And the It Cosmetics Perfect Lighting Pen. They're both highlighters. I, I think, oh gosh, I don't remember now if the Marc Jacobs one is considered a concealer. I don't recall, Google it. Um, but if it is, then it's more of a lightweight concealer. This is just a highlighter pen. There's no concealing going on. But these two have been my faves to go underneath my eye. And since this is almost done, I'm going to use the It Cosmetics. I go through this every time I do my makeup. Oh, I just, I love the way they look. I really truly do. But this one is on its last few swipes. It makes me sad. But, cause for whatever reason, this is really hard to find. They don't sell this at Sephora, at least not in the stores. Taking the same beauty blender, just gonna start patting all of that in. Oh God, this is what highlighter is supposed to look like you guys. We're not supposed to look like Casper the Friendly Ghost, I promise. Oh my God, yes. Oh my God, yes, please. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. YSL Souffle de Eclat. It's amazing. Let's use it. I believe the souffle comes in four different shades. This is shade number two, and it just brightens your face up enough to look still pretty natural, and I enjoy that. If this is too fancy for you, yes, you can use the Cody powder before everyone starts asking me questions. It just, um, try it out first. Try it out on your face. I've heard a lot of people complain about the skipping underneath the eye area, so you won't know until you try. So sticking with the fancy face for a minute, yes, I did step away from Studio Fix powder. I know it's crazy. I never thought I'd ever would because Studio Fix was the diehard for me. And I have to say that I do like how the Dior looks on my skin a hell of a lot better than Studio Fix, but there are times when I still need Studio Fix because that coverage though, that coverage though, God. Ugh. Dior just looks smooth, okay? This is just freaking amazing. This is the Extreme Control Powder. Oh my gosh, yes, and the Cosette S120. Get, have, love. But wait, there's more. This is the Laura Mercier Bronzer. This is Dune Bronze. And I'm gonna give myself just a little bit of color so that I'm not completely pale. This is essentially contouring the face. 
using a bronzer, even though technically bronzer doesn't really contour, it just adds color. But by doing this, you're, you're shaping your face, giving yourself a little more dimension without having to do that crazy step-by-step -step number scheme, that Nike swoosh, you know what I'm talking about. You guys don't need to do all of that nonsense. Again, I'm not gonna rant, I promise. This color is not a blush, it's Warm Light Shaping Powder by MAC. I just love the apricot finish that it gives on my skin, so I use it as a blush. Now comes the fun part. This powder is called Double Gleam. Look at that. <gasps> oh my god. It's by MAC. It's the Extra Dimension Skin Finish Powder. Double Gleam, again. I need to say it twice, because oh my god. Gleamy, gleamy, gleamy. It's so pretty! Anyway, I don't know if this is limited or not. I'm sorry if it is. Use something similar. We're just gonna give this skin a little pop. Focus most of the product here and then blend it outward, taper it out. And that is how you properly wear a highlighter. I, not a rant, not a rant. So I'm using the same Smith brush that I used on my eyes, the 256. And I'm going to just pat this guy on my lid. Just dead center, sort of like a halo. Whatever's left on the brush, go old school. Apply that to your brow bone. It's okay, it's the holidays. You know, it's really funny. I was telling myself I should probably change my name on YouTube because I don't really use that many MAC products anymore now that I've gone into YSL, Dior, and all these other brands. And half my face is MAC, so <laughs> I'm okay. So this is where you get to have a little fun. I'm gonna put on some black eyeliner. And I'm gonna do lashes and everything too because it's a party. But I'm not gonna do a bold lip or anything like that because let's be real, it's tamale time. I have been waiting all year for tamales. I, I don't wanna worry about this, okay? There really is no rhyme or reason how I do my eyeliner. I just apply it and then pray to God that it comes out right. It works for me, especially since I'm gonna be putting on eyelashes and you have to detail it anyway, so let's do this. So I'm gonna throw on some Lash Paradise and lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, got a little carried away with the eyeliner and the lashes, but I was on the phone trying to do two things at once and all of a sudden, fuck, what? I put too much eyeliner on. Dude, I'll let you go. It's too late, bro. <laughs> There's no going back at this point. So it's a little thicker than I wanted it to do originally, but eh, it still works. And so I'm going to apply a staunchy, staunchly stylish lip liner but just as I suspected, I was just gonna say, don't trust these lip liners for shit because they never freaking work. Oh my God, this thing is like drying out. Why? These are the worst lip liners in the whole world. I don't know why I hang on to this. You know what? This is trash. This is like the worst lip liner you could ever buy from MAC. This is the Pro Longwear Lip Pencils. They're just, they dry. They, I, don't, I don't care what the tips and tricks you think you may have. I'm sorry, they're the worst. Just stick with the regular pencils because, yikes. Just use Whirl or Soar or something because yikes, 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 yikes. Where is the lip color? Here we go. I'm gonna use Dolce & Gabbana. Uh, this is called Iridescent. I don't know if that's just the name of the lip color or the formula. I don't know what is up of what. So just look for this. <laughs> Just in the center of the lip, give yourself some color. I'm trying to use up all of my limited edition products because they're just sitting there anyway. And I wanna use them before they expire, you know, completely. Some of my lipsticks still have not gone bad, like this one. This one is Razzle Dazzler. I don't remember what line this came from by MAC. but mixed with Dolce, it's quite pretty. Cool beans, cool beans, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. It's holiday, it's happy, it's Viva Glam 6. Just a moment, please. Oh, wait, I forgot. Cover, cover effects, oh my God. Shiny, we wanna be shiny, so. Do you know how 
misty mist it mistizes is yes oh Ooh. <coughs> don't breathe it in oh my word all right so it looks like i'm ready to go it's holiday it's happy it's clean and fresh and i'm ready with my bed head hair i i'm ready to go very excited that this look is complete <laughs> um, again went a little crazy with the eyeliner but it's okay because in photos at least i look awake um oh wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute i keep forgetting things i have to use my staple so i for the longest time have been using pale yellow by mac inside my waterline because i do like to look like my eyes slightly more open and then i found out that pale yellow had been discontinued for years like years and I've had I used to buy them in bulk I would buy like three or four at a time whatever the max was for our discount and I finally finished my pale yellow went back to go get some sure enough uh, we've been out of that for a long time I'm like well, when are you gonna get it back in we're not what so I'm on a quest to find the perfect pale yellow liner uh, the one that I use right now is actually from Italy so you can only buy it in Italy, it's Wicon. You can only buy it in Italy, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> so now I'm here trying to figure out what am I supposed to do without my pale yellow? I can't survive like this. So here we go, some more soul. Just for that definition, you see, like there goes that darkness. I'm like, oh crap, it's true what they say. Again, I don't really put black inside my eye. I do quite the opposite, but still, I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe it. Um, I don't typically put on mascara at the bottom of my lashes. I just don't. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. In case you're wondering, how come you didn't put any mascara? That's because I just didn't want to. <laughs> So I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching my video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Periscope, which is at Lana Reese. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.